Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Lego Inbay automatic car wash. So, um, you'll have to bear with me because there will be times when I need to put the camera down to put bits together. First of all, we're just going to look at doing the classic three brush car wash. Now, to do that, you're going to need to get five of these, um, preferably in white, and then stack them on together. There should be five of them, and you need to do that twice so that you've got two. If you don't have those, then you could always get get um, five. Uh, then you could get two of these long bits, long bits like that, and put them together twice, like that. Then what you need is is the side brushes. Of course, you've got to have the side brushes, and so you can pick any colours for this. You could have red and green. You could have just blue, just red, you could have you could have yellow, blue, white, or whatever colours you've got in a box. But for this one, I've chosen red, blue, and black brushes. So you need two brushes. They can be the same or different, it's up to you. I like mine to be to have the same colours colours on the brushes. Now you so there. Now what you need to do is you need to get what is you need to get a big long piece like this. Now, that bit on the top there, don't worry about it at the moment. And so, the two side brushes need to be attached to it like that. Like that. Uh, and then you need to get... Now, obviously, we need to do the top brush. Now, now for the top brush, you can either use three of the squares and put them along together. Or if you want to do something a bit more clever, like I have here, you can have one in the centre center there and then you can use these small bits here like that and make a a brush like that I've got one prepared here and it's on another thing now I didn't have enough of these big long bits but don't worry if you haven't got enough of those big long bits then just use then just use two three long and and a four and then you'll make one and then make sure that the top brush is attached onto the bottom like that. Now, hang on a second. Now the need to do that. Now the two sections need to be joined together. So all you have to do is put the two sections together. Get two of these. And voila, you're joined. Now, something though that I like to do is I like to put two more on the bottom on mine because I think that it helps. Like sometimes you'll get the brushes sort of start to do that, so it will keep it nice and firm and in place. And then your car will come in this way and get washed. Now, what about this one? that's pretty much the same but the top brush is in front front and the brush is behind well this is easy because you can do that exactly the same way to make one of those ones all you have to do is this and turn it around the other way way because there is absolutely no difference between these two machines except on oh no except this one is the side brushes in front in front and the top brush in the back and this one is the top brush in the front and the side brush is in the back. Makes hardly any difference. But what about one of these ones? I've seen a few of these around, the, these wash tech ones, that sort of have two top brushes. Well, that, my friends, and can also be done quite simply. But first of all, you need to take, you need to undo, to undo the two sections that you just built. Oops, sorry, I just dropped a piece. There, so there you've got your two sections again. Now, all you need to do is make another top brush section. That's what I'm doing here. Now, for this one, the base needs to be six along on the base not four so make sure that that's the case then you need another one of these 
these and have your top brush on it like that and then put it on bam sorry I'm trying to look at what I'm doing and hold the camera at the same time doing this with one hand and it's very difficult then now you've got three sections then the brushes go in like that and then the other top brush And then you and then you just join them at the top, but which I'm not going to do because I need to take this part again in a second to show you how to do the rest, to show you how to do the last one. But then you've got one, and it doesn't matter what way around it is because it's symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. Now I'm not. Now normally you'd use these to join up on the top there, like I said, stick them down, boom, boom, boom. But I'm not going to do that because I need to take it apart again to show you how to build this the five brush wash for this one um, we're just going to need the side washes and the top washes again again the two sections now now often on these now on these ones the top brush normally sticks out out a bit but we're not going to do that for this one the top brush is just going to stay where it is but you can modify this design to make it look more realistic if you want to now what I need to do is I need to put those brushes to one side. Now I need to to undo these pillars. The third brick in the middle needs to be taken out. Now you need to get a white section like this and put two colour bits below it, below it for the rocker brushes. And you need to put them together like this. Then attach them to the car wash machine, like so. Then you need to join the tops with the two pieces, like so. And then you need to put sixes on the bottom. Bottom. Hold on. So yeah, and then on the bottom, you need the six pieces, piece ones here, like that. And then that sits in there, that way round, and voila you have your five brush car wash machine isn't that cool in the space of less than ten minutes I've just showed you how to make well four different car washes three or four four depends on whether you depends on whether you count the first two as one car wash or or two I say it's two because Four's an awesome, a more awesome number than three, but yeah, that's quite an awesome looking one there with the five brushes. But yeah, that's it.